So one of the features of Logisim is that it's a simulator for circuits. Uh, and in order to simulate diverse circuits, we really have to think about what a circuit actually is. So obviously a circuit in a real computing device or any type of electronic device is uh, an electrical machine, uh, which consists in its most simplest form of electrical inputs, electrical connection, and then electrical outputs. So the way that we might think of these is as pins and wires. So in this video, I'm going to introduce uh, the idea of uh, a pin, uh, and I'm going to show you uh, wiring uh, of an input pin to an output pin, uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about the attributes of uh, the components. So you can see in front of me that I have uh, an empty simulation canvas. I'm in construction mode, which you can see by the little cursor. Uh, uh, being highlighted up here in the toolbar uh, and then I'm going to just drag from the toolbar uh, two pins the first of which is an input pin and the second of which is an output pin and I place them on the uh, canvas like so uh, I'm going to zoom in uh, so you can see them in uh, really quite close uh, detail uh, and I suppose the first thing that you'll notice is that the shapes of the pins are uh, uh, kind of different to each other. So you can see, and this is correct for nearly all the components in Logisim, uh, that we have a symbolic shape uh, which represents the component, uh, its function. Uh, and then you'll see that on the uh, input pin, okay, uh, there's a little kind of nodule thing that when I mouse over uh, highlights and a little tooltip appears and it says add an input pin, okay, add an input pin. And then on the uh, output pin, you'll see that although it's the same shape, the actual uh, little node that you use to connect uh, to is uh, on the opposite side. So it's pretty simple uh, what we can do here. We can basically click on one of the nodes and then we can drag a wire uh, from one node to another, thereby connecting the two pins. Uh, before we go to simulation mode, it's worth pointing out as well uh, that the pins are initially or by default configured uh, to show only binary numbers. So you can see that, that we have a zero, uh, and then we have the little b, uh, that b represents uh, binary. Okay, you'll see as well that the wire uh, has a particular colour associated with it, which is kind of dark uh, green. Uh, and this, I suppose, is a circuit. It's a very, very simple circuit that isn't doing much for us. So anyway, we go back up to the toolbar and we click on the little hand tool, uh, with the poke tool, and then we mouse over the uh, input pin and click. Uh, and as we click on and off, you'll see that the value that's in the pin changes from 0 to 1 and then when we click again it toggles back to uh, uh, 0. Okay, And as we do this you'll see that the line uh, changes, the wire changes and it goes from dark green to light green uh, and obviously that dark green and light green correspond to a 0 and a 1 uh, being asserted over the uh, wire. We also know of course that as the uh, uh, input pin goes from 0 to 1, uh, so does the wire, and then so does the output pin. From our perspective, this looks to be uh, instantaneous. In reality, in a real computer, in a real electrical device, there's something known as a propagation delay, uh, which means that there would be a slight uh, delay uh, for the output pin uh, receiving and then showing the signal. Uh, but we don't really need to worry about that uh, in this uh, example here. Uh, so that's kind of fairly straightforward, simple way of uh, setting up uh, a circuit. Uh, there are other things that we can do. So for example, uh, we can attach to the wire a component known as a probe tool. So I switch over to construction mode uh, and I bring the little probe uh, and I position it here uh, like so. So by default it doesn't do anything, but you can see uh, that it has, like the input and output pins, a node uh, and uh, that node uh, obviously is a wiring node that would allow us to connect to the wire down here uh, but 
at the moment that node is on the east side of the probe component uh, and I probably would be better having it on the south side of the component. So I click on the component and I go down over here to the attributes and I change it from facing east to facing south. I'll position it a little bit better and then I'll wire the uh, probe component to the wire component like so. And you can see that as soon as I make a connection, uh, we can see that the wire's connected because there's a circle or a dot that shows that the wires are connected. Uh, and also as well, we see that the probe component now has a value associated with it. And that value is uh, zero like so. Okay, so we go back to simulation mode by clicking on the little hand. And you can see that as we change the value of the input pin, so we can see uh, the value of the output pin going to uh, uh, the new value. And also we observe that the probe value uh, changes as well.